please have a seat. I think you can help me. Yes? There is a man in the habit of hitting me on the head with a trombone. Greg Durbin is an accomplished filmmaker with a number of award-winning films to his credit. His interest in films stems from a love of art from an early age. He pursued a degree in visual arts and, as a graduate student, edited the milestone 1980 documentary Poto and Kabengo. I got teaching offers because of my work with Poto and Kabengo. I didn't really think I wanted to be a teacher, but what I discovered was I actually really did like teaching. And when I came here, it was clear that the department needed new blood. What mostly was going on within the program was more of a kind of critical studies analysis. I was really a kind of marginal faculty member pushing filmmaking. Greg really understands the importance of the creative process, and I think what he does is work so closely with students to give them the, the skills to use a very important medium to tell that story. I think to the degree you can maintain this idea that there isn't necessarily one correct way to do things, and that there isn't a wrong answer and a right answer. All those things contribute to the uh, notion in a student that my job right now is to work through a whole lot of mistakes, but I think I can get there. Greg as an instructor, as a professor, was amazing. He's just one of those guys that takes that personal care with his students and is so encouraging and I can't think of enough. That the, the best ideas don't come in a brilliant flash, instantaneous. They, they tend to come as a result of grappling with something for a long time. Brilliance or creativity is more often than not the result of, of a kind of persistence, almost obsessiveness, and very, very hard work.